so we're doing stuff in the shop with the mad snapper. It needs a haircut. We're buying some more junk off Amazon, y'all. Ready? Here we go. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we got some more Amazon goodies. Let's do a review. I just unboxed it. I did not open it yet. But it looks like it's going to do everything I want. It's a wire crimper um, to do multiple, multiple, multiple applications. Mine is primarily this one for now. Of course, everybody does all these. But I've got to build a shielded harness with these uh, GM150 connectors. And I wanted to do it properly. Like that. Anyway, let's open the box. Please don't be upside down. Please don't be upside down. Yeah, it wasn't upside down, but it's a mess. All right, this one. It's probably gonna go there. <laughs> okay. Boom. That's how we have it. All right. Are these ratcheting? I don't know. I bought these because it was a complete kit versus some of the other ones. Feels pretty solid. Ooh, springy. I'll use the crap out of these. They feel real good. That, there's no doubt. Alright, I need to uh, go turn this radio off before I get copyright infringement. Be right back. Okay. So... We have um, these ratchet ones that feel really good if I get my grubby meat hooks on it. Yep, yep. And these strippers feel good. So it gives you a little bit of instructions on what to use and how to use it and your different options. What I usually do is just take the wire that I'm doing and I try to fit it in the closest one possible. Which I think is going to be this one because I've got this type of terminal that's got to go over this isolator, so basically making a cam signal extension harness for a poly EFI system and using a lot of wire care products. This is my shielding, this is going to be the uh, electromagnetic interference shielding noise shielding uh the what's the other one let's see emi esd rfi so radio frequency shielding esd is going to be the static shielding uh, because all the harley holly stuff does it's double shielded it's got a tin shielding and it's also got a ground shielding anyway back to the crimper so yep this is uh off the old amazon uh, i'm not sure how much it was i'll put it in 20, 30 bucks. Uh, it feels really good. I've seen some $150 that wasn't built this well. I mean, this is this is probably going to last a while. Anyway, let me uh, get to crimping and see how it does. It wound up being a little 1.5. And... see it can you see it we got a tight fit one quick thing to change the dies you literally push this button and slide it in super super easy I just can't do it one-handed because I got the phone in my in my other hand anyway kind of like that yep I thought I would do one more little tiny 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 demonstration with this uh, Amazon tool I really 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 like it um, doo -doo 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 -doo. let's uh, let's do one of these in real time get off there the isolator so we got the female plug that's gonna have the male ends on it 
I bring the tabs in just a hair. I already know it's going to be the smallest one, which is the 1.5. So I bring the wings in here and give it one little click just to hold it in place. Put my thumbs where I don't want the wire to go any further. Stick the wire in the isolator inside. Check for the wire on the back side. And we crimp. It crimps the isolator and the wire at the same time. This has got the stopper wings back here. And the wings need to go this side up. Boom. It's in there. Got my little screwdriver just in case. Yep, looks even, not coming off. I like it, I like it, I like it. So yes, I highly recommend these uh, these crimpers. I made a harness for my cam sensor. Extension with some wirecare.com products. Uh, mainly the wire and the shielding itself. And then I'm using the Amazon kit uh, believe it or not, this kit with these connections was better than the supposed OE, OE stuff that wound up giving me a headache. So I started over, took it apart, didn't like the way it was wanting to fit up and it wanted me to modify this. And why well, modify it when I got the right ones? I was just surprised. That's a GM part number. This was not. Either way, this works. So Amazon crimper for the win. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.